Hi students, in this video we are going to see about microcontroller and embedded system laboratory for fourth semester. So this is for CSC department, it's new lab. So we just see how to execute each and every program in the software part. So this is part A. We'll just see the first program now. Write a program to multiply two 16-bit binary numbers. So to do this program, we have to use a software called Keen version 4. So using this, we are going to do execute this program. Let's see how to do this. First, go to project and open a new project. So for each and every project, it's advisable to create a new folder. Let me delete the existing one so you not get confused. So my folder is mul and I am creating a new project. The project does not have any extension. So simply say OK. So it will ask you to select the target. Here we have to select LPC 2148. Okay. This is as per our syllabus okay so we'll select this and you can see the description for the particular lpc is 2148 is available here you can just go through if you want and say okay here we have to give no for software programs because startup.s is not required now go to file and create a new file so i have the program with me so I'm just giving the program. If you see, these are our command lines. The command line starts with semicolon. So here is the first line of my program. Starts with area. Area is an assembler directive. It instructs the assembler to assemble a new code or data. Okay, this is the file name. Like if you, we are doing multiplication program like that, some specific file name we can give any name is possible doesn't require that it should match the project name or the file name which we are going to say it can be any name but some reasonable name okay then we are going to give code it can be code or data code contains machine instructions data will con data will not contain uh, data it will just contain uh, it will just contain the data but not the instructions okay so that data we will be seeing in the later programs now we are going to see about code and read only if it is code if it is default read only okay so this is the first start of your pro program now we now we are going to see the list uh, rest of the program entry is the first instruction which will be executed and start says the start of your program okay so we are using three registers here r1 r2 and r3 so it's like uh, in c program how we used to see a write a is equal to b plus c similar way a is equal to b into c similar way here we are assigning some values for each and every uh, like each and every variable here we are assigning values to registers so r1 is having 6400 and r2 is having 3, 2, double zero. okay there are the values which is given for r1 and r2 and when you multiply r1 and r2 and it will be stored in the destination register r3 which is a resultant register also so your result will be available in r3 okay so as the end of the program let's see how to exec save and execute it just click on save and make sure in the you are in the same folder and then save it so the folder which you created for your project so you should save the program in the same folder so i am just saving it in the same folder with an extension of asm so any program name you can give with an extension of dot asm for the program just press save so your program is saved you can see the difference between the saved and unsaved program now we need to add the file to the source group so we have to select the asm file which we created under multi folder and then add and close it so this folder will be available here so after all these tasks 
you have to build the file so here is a build icon either you can press it or you can use f7 as a shortcut so i'm just building the file so you can see the build output there is no errors so now what should i do i should go to debug and say start stop debug session so now i am starting the debug session okay so you can see the register window here if this register window is not available go to view here register window is there just enable this okay okay now it's already available for me so i'm not doing that step now i'm going to run the program and i'm going to stop the program either you can use the run and stop here or you can use from debug run and stop so you can see the value in r1 and r2 is the value which we have provided has been converted into hexa and been stored in r1 and r2 so its examples are given here and the result is in r3 which is the product of these r1 and r2 and the value which we got in r3 is converted into hex and being stored here this is the resultant of our multiplication so i think now this will be it seems to be quite little confusing and little difficult for you so we'll just come out of debug and i'll show you a simpler numbers we'll just give three twos are six right so we'll just try whether this is working out so now i have to after doing edit i have to save it i have to build it then go for debug start debug session and then i have to run then i have to stop so now see in r1 it is 3 r2 it is 2 and r3 is 6 so 3 twos are 6 this is how the multiplication program works so just come out of debug okay your program is completed you have seen the output now you can close the project so just say close project that's the end of multiplication program we'll see the rest of the programs in the next video thank you